Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing an epic at home facial. I like to do a facial once a week if I get a chance to, but lately I haven't been as good about it and I do it maybe every other week or once a month. Some people like to collect makeup or other things. I've always been extremely fascinated with skincare, so I have all these crazy gadgets and it was an industry I worked in for about five years and was always really fascinated with. So today I'm doing an updated facial and sharing with you some new gadgets and tools. So let's jump right in. Let's start with the basics, the things that you want to have to perform an at-home facial. This is a cleanser. I definitely recommend a good cleanser. I'm using a milk cleanser right now. A scrub that you love. I'm using one by Yonka. Also, two masks. I like to do a detox mask and then a very gentle hydrating mask after the detox mask. I really like these facial sponges. I use that with the cleanser, but you could certainly use a Clarisonic if you already have that. But I do like facial sponges. You can get that for a pretty good price on Amazon. And then a facial brush for applying the mask and then a good moisturizer. So that completes the list of skincare products that I like to use when I'm performing an at-home facial, but I also love skincare gadgets and tools and I've collected my fair share. I do love the cleansing sponges. You can find those off of Amazon. I have a Clarisonic which I, I didn't show here but I like the cleansing sponges which are a lot more affordable. I also really like a facial steamer. I had a Conair one all growing up. I asked for one for my birthday when I was really young and it was really great. You can also use a bowl of hot water which will produce steam and I've shown that before on my channel but this one projects steam. It's very similar to what they use when you are getting a professional facial. So I love that one. I have an LED face mask. This was a recent purchase. I have had LED face treatments performed on my skin before. They're fabulous. And I also had a handheld LED light before that was given to me. But I had to go all around my face with it. And I liked this one because it covers all your face at once. And it has different lights. So it had the green for hyperpigmentation, blue for acne. It actually has a few different colors that have different effects on the skin, but I'll talk a little bit more about that later in the video. I also have a microcurrent device, which is more for the firming and toning of the muscle under the skin, and I don't use that as often, and I won't use that in today's facial, but I have talked about that before on my channel. So I'm going to start first by diffusing some bedtime lavender essential oil in my doTERRA diffuser. I'm adding some water to my facial steamer. I'm turning it on, and in about 15 seconds, it's going to start projecting some steam. I'm going to wet my sponges and get those ready. They're gonna puff out a little bit. I'm gonna put a headband in my hair so that I pull my hair back. And then I'm gonna begin by cleansing my skin with a cleanser. Like I said, you wanna choose a cleanser that works for you right now. I'm using a milk cleanser. I'm using the Goat Milk Cleanser by Kate Somerville. I'm adding a little bit onto the facial sponges and I'm just gonna go ahead and start cleansing my skin. Now the difference between an everyday cleanse and an epic facial cleanse is today I'm cleansing my skin directly over the facial steamer. So the facial steamer is projecting the steam and I am far enough back that it's not burning my skin but enough that I'm cleansing so that the steam is over my skin. And generally when you're getting a facial they do project steam on your skin while they're cleansing and exfoliating. So I'm starting by cleansing and then I'm going to wash my face with lukewarm water. Then I'm going to move on to a scrub. Right now I'm using the Yonka scrub. I'm actually almost finished with this scrub. This is a physical scrub. So you have chemical and physical scrubs. Physical is just like it sounds. It has little granules or beads in the scrub that physically, as opposed to a chemical exfoliant, which exfoliates your skin with either lactic or glycolic acid, usually an acid, AHAs. Um, so I'm just going to gently massage this into my skin for about a solid minute and then wash it off. So I'm going to gently dry my skin with a towel and then I'm going to apply a face mask. Usually I use a detox mask or a mud mask first. So I'm going to use this Derma Doctor detox mask and I'm going to use it with a facial brush which I saved this one from another mask that I use which is the Glam Glow. I think I finished it up and this brush came with it so I just saved it and washed it. You can find these on Amazon as well though. And then I'm going to use this to apply the face mask. Now I'm not always good about using a face brush but I've been trying to be better about it lately. Sometimes I just stick my fingers in the products but it's always good to use a brush if you can. So I use that when I'm performing a facial. I'm going to let my skin sit over the steamer with a face mask for about five minutes and then I'm going to pull away and let it dry on my skin. It won't be able to dry if you stay under the steam the entire time. So I just steam it for a little bit and then let it dry. While it's drying, I try to drink lots of water to stay hydrated. And then I remove it with the facial sponges and some warm water.
This next step is optional, but I like to layer masks. So after I use a detox mask, sometimes I like to use a hydrating mask, a very gentle rose mask like this one from Fresh. It smells really nice and it's just kind of leaves your skin really refreshed and hydrated. So I'm going to apply this with the facial brush that I cleansed and use this on my face and neck. Let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes and then remove it with some warm water and the facial sponges. And that pretty much completes the treatments that I will perform. I'm going to just dry my skin off with a towel and add a little bit of moisturizer and lip balm. I'm using the same moisturizer that I use every day and lip balm that I use every day. But I like to make sure I keep my lips and skin hydrated, obviously. And then next, it's time for the fun part, which is whipping out one of the gadgets that I choose to use on whatever I'm feeling for my skin. So tonight I'm using the LED red light. So the LED red light produces a wavelength outside of the skin damaging UV range that we normally fear in tanning beds and things like that. In studies performed by NASA, it was scientifically proven to be effective in healing the skin. So many expensive spas charge a lot to perform these treatments. So I got this on Amazon. I use it as often as possible. And sure, I look a little crazy, but it makes a huge difference. I use the red and white light in combination as often as possible. So that's my idea of an epic facial. It might be crazy for some people, but I love it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I wanted to share it with you. If you like my channel and my videos, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. I do new videos every week. Check out my other videos, and I also have another channel, and I'll see you guys very soon.